Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafted Jewels Tech Series. In this video, we are going to discuss about Fleet Framework for WebWords. According to Open Web Application Security Project, any well-written application will have readability, traceability, integrity built in and makes it easy to track any business transaction without even accessing the system. Traditionally, these are implemented using your auditing, exception handling and logging frameworks. And these traditional frameworks works by manually adding the code into uh, the uh, implementation at the design and development time and upgrading uh, any of these libraries, any changes to these frameworks is an overhead. And also these are synchronous in nature and adds a, a slight overhead to the actual business transaction. These are the problems Women's Fleet tries to solve. Women's Fleet is actually inspired from uh, Elasticsearch Fleet and just like Elasticsearch Fleet, it provides a configurable fleet interface uh, for configuring any service for listening to audit and error events. And these events are codeless, asynchronous in nature and non-interruptive. Even if there is a failure in this event, in processing this event, uh, there won't be an issue. And these are these provide read-only access for the integrity uh, so that you can access the payload and send it to the destination, target destination, wherever you want to. And since we have the access to the event, uh, um, so we have the hook for exception handling and LT. We can customize as per the need. So these events basically are captured from integration server and then generated as logs that can be later shipped uh, by beats to any target system. In this case, it is uh, Elasticsearch. And uh, one of the advantage with um, having Logstash on board is Logstash has lots of plugins, input uh, plugins. It can read from different different data sources. It can ship to different different um, uh, target systems, um, uh, starting from Elasticsearch, Azure Monitor, uh, Google Cloud, wherever you want, you can actually ship them and monitor them. Okay, let's get into the demo. So what I have is I have a simple, simple flow service called add-ins, uh, as you can see, and this has simply, uh, it will take just take two inputs and uh, gives uh, uh, the result, it adds it and gives a result. And this is what my uh, service, okay. So let's get into the fleet interface. So I have this fleet interface. So what you see here is channels. So these channels are nothing but uh, the channels from where your service or API will be invoked. Okay. So you can add new channels and uh, you can configure your services that, hey, whenever the service is invoked, uh, associate this metadata as a channel and runtime also you can override it. Okay. We'll see that in action. So we'll just go for a package, search for add in service and configure a channel as web. And we can choose to capture the payload or not. So I'm going to say capture the payload and say add to fleet. So I have my service ready. And now these channels will have logs associated with it. That's what you see here, mobile, web and consumer one thing. And for the time being, we're having web as a channel. So I'm going to go and say run this flow service with 2 plus 2 equals to 4. And you see the result here, right? This is, the, you see two events, one is request and one other is uh, a response event. And if I say that, hey, run this with a something which will fail, and you see there is a failure and you see three events now, uh, one is request, one is exception, and another one is uh, audit event. So this fleet actually automatically listens to these events, uh, right? Now, same thing, I have uh, captured them in Postman, uh, and I'm going to actually run these things from mobile, web, and error in different different ways. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to run it to generate huge traffic. I'm going to say maybe run it 500 times with a delay, uh, maybe with one millisecond. Okay, and say run. And it's running. Well, it actually runs. The way Flat Frameworks works is it actually starts shipping them here, and you see uh, data is being generated slowly. Uh, these numbers will keep on changing okay so these are pre-configured dashboard just for the demo i can you can also add your own filters and of course you can always filter by a particular uh, transaction id or channel id and of course a service name as well so you can also add uh, additional filters based on status and audit event and you can customize this dashboard uh, as per uh, customer needs uh, right. Uh, so uh, this framework is pre-integrated with Elastic. Uh, 
and is based on uh, the method sort of the box uh, http uh, interceptors uh, framework uh, right and uh, one of the good things is basically it will not only ship to elastic search because logstash has lot of other uh, output plugins where it can actually ship the data to any big data systems uh, you can also leverage it uh, if you want to uh, but uh, it is best suited when you have a landscape existing landscape of web method and you have lot of flow services and you don't want to um, invest uh, uh, develop something new change your changing your existing implementation right um, this suits very well all you have to do is just uh, configure your fleet um, uh, here um uh, and then uh, it's ready basically you don't have to change a single thing in the code uh, so and if you need help in actually setting up uh, such framework right so just do reach out to us thank you